In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a feature called audio ducking. Now, audio ducking is the ability to have Video Studio automatically increase or decrease volume levels based on voiceovers or specific audio tracks within the clip itself. In previous versions, to allow for this, we would have to select your audio track, go into the sound mixer, and add keyframes where you want to increase or decrease the audio. With audio ducking, it's simply a matter of right-clicking on the audio track and select audio ducking. Here, I'm going to set my levels at 95, and I'll leave the sensitivity to 5. I'll simply click OK. It's going to put me into the sound mixer and as you can see it's automatically reduced the volume of the audio track. Let me rewind this. I'll play this project and we'll see how that sounds. The concept behind the Goosebuster is to humanely remove birds and migratory waterfowl from beaches and parks. Now as you can see it's very simple to automatically adjust the audio but what happens in a situation where I want to add additional content to this? Let's check that out. I'm going to close this off. I'll go back into my media folder where I have my content and I'll drag and drop this into the timeline. So you can see that I've added another VSP project to my existing project. Now it's simply a matter of taking this audio track and I'm going to extend this to the end of the project. Now if I right click on my audio clip and select audio ducking I'll keep the same settings, I'll click OK, and you can see that it's automatically increased and decreased the audio track where I need it to be. I'll go back to the beginning of the project and I'll play the entire project again. The concept behind the Goosebuster is to humanely remove birds and migratory waterfowl from beaches and parks. Whether you're looking to remove seagulls from along the beach, geese in the waters off the shore, the Goosebuster is able to get the job done. So, as you can see, it's very easy to automatically adjust the audio levels based on voiceover or audio tracks within the video clip that you're dealing with.